many have undertaken to draw up an account of the things that have been fulfilled among us, just as they were handed down to us by those who from the first were eyewitnesses and servants of the word. I, th I think just the years of doing church and being professional Christians and professional churchgoers, the word gets stale. The word becomes Bible stories that, that, are, that it's history. Therefore, since I myself have carefully investigated everything from the beginning, it seemed good also to me to write an orderly account for you, most excellent Theophilus, so that you may know the certainty of the things you have been taught. I've read the story many times, but to see it portrayed the way you did, it was like putting on 3D glasses. Drama as well as a very creative art form has a power to capture an emotion, to convey a message in a more compelling way. You've probably heard the story, but you've never seen it portrayed like this. Father, if it is possible, take this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. There's so much room for your imagination to open up and to see the heartfelt when, when Jesus said, you know, take of this, this is the bread of my body. He took bread and when he had blessed it, he broke it and he gave it to them saying, this is my body which is given for you. And it was the bread of his body. It was the, the blood of the cup because he, he loved his people. He knew what had to take place, even though he didn't want it to take place. He knew it, and it was just, it, it was real. He wasn't watching a movie. It wasn't reading a book. It was your mind working with your soul and the, how they work together. Having Wesley come to your church makes the Word come to life in a way that causes the people to actually be hungry for the Word and think, hey, man, I don't remember that story. I'm going to go back and read that. And then they're going to read it and they've had this new experience. And so it takes them to a new level of experience with God's Word and with God's presence. Everyone was awestruck. Even the children stayed silent and stayed still. It was a powerful reminder of the Word and its power. Before the rooster crows today, You will disown me three times. If any one of you is ashamed of me, in my words, the Son of Man will be ashamed of him. And I confer a kingdom on you, just as my Father conferred one on me, so that you might eat with me and drink with me at my table in my kingdom. I tell you the truth. Some of you standing here will not taste death until you see the kingdom of God. Oh.